hi guys and welcome back to the channel this is for me here again with a new video happy happy new year first of all to you guys thank you guys for the previous year i know a lot of people are already in the 2023 spirit but i cannot go without telling you guys thank you the love in 2022 amazing welcome to the new year i hope the new year has been off to a great start for you guys and if for any reason the year has not been so fantastic for you or anyone in your family i'm sending all my love and all my prayers to you guys i pray that the lord heals your heart heals your family heals whatever situation it is and brings back joy and mercy to you and your family in jesus name welcome back to the new year and I would have just dropped a tutorial for you guys just jumped right into things right but I just thought to do this quick little video just to talk to you guys a little bit about some things that have been on my mind that I also think will be useful to a lot of you guys and the things to expect on here on the channel I'm also going to be sharing hustle ideas with you guys because I know that people will 90% or even more than that right of people that subscribe to my channel are people that are in the fashion world you, pr you probably own like a fashion business or you're looking to start something like this I'm going to share my journey into fashion with you guys briefly okay and I'm also going to be sharing some things that I think you could try out if you're looking to just expand and progress in this journey in my last sit down video with you guys which a lot of you guys enjoyed and I was so amazed with the feedback thank you guys so much for the love on that video if you've not seen it if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm going to link it on the screen right in that video I talked about making progress making plans and, and going through with those plans and asking for God's you know lead in the plan so just in case you are like oh my god for me i don't even know the first thing to do i'm confused about how to make plans this video is for you right so i'm going to be sharing step by step using myself as an exp example right how i how i got started in fashion and everything with you guys so it promises to be very short and sweet so if you will be interested in knowing everything that i have to share in this video please continue to watch <laughs> All right, guys, so welcome back. The first thing I'm going to say is this year, I know a lot of people like to say, oh, they planned out things, they wrote this down, wrote that down, but honestly, with my YouTube channel, things just come up, right? And I'm the kind of person that once an idea comes into my mind or I think of something or God drops something in my heart, I like to just follow through, right? So I can't come here and tell you that, oh, this and that is what to expect. Honestly, you guys, if you see me on this channel pivoting or doing something out of the ordinary, just accept me as I am. But what I can say for sure is I would still be doing my millinery tutorials, my sewing tips tutorials, my beading tutorials. And if any other thing comes along the line, I'm going to add this to those things. So you guys should not worry. Those tutorials will keep coming back. I'll keep trying my best to simplify, you know, stressful things about beading, stressful things about millinery in general and just make my tutorials as easy to understand as possible i will still be doing those as much as god grants me grace okay yeah that's that about what to expect on the channel also i still want you guys to keep the same energy if you have questions please feel free to ask questions if you have suggestions for me feel free to drop your suggestions if you see me doing something in my video and you're like ah, ah for me what are you doing this thing is so 2001 why don't you try this why don't you try that i like to hear from you guys so this this channel is not like a one-way street right i like to communicate to you guys by either you know reading your comments and responding to them or having you guys send me messages on instagram telling me this and that and stuff like that just feel free i'm also thinking of starting off monthly lives on the channel i know like with my time management i need to do better in this year so help me god but it's something i'm thinking of if you guys also support the idea of monthly lives or bi-monthly lives i don't know if there's anything like bi-monthly like two, um every two months right or by annual lives i don't know honestly just let me let me know what you guys think but i've seen a lot of youtube content creators you know doing lives and i think it makes sense i usually join some of those lives and just listen to what people have to say i think they are always you know very insightful and it's an opportunity for you guys as well as the audience to also interact with each other in the live chat and stuff like that so if you guys think it's a great idea let me know down in the comments and i'll be sure to find a way to work something up for us so let me jump straight into the side hustles okay and we decide hustles it's just my thoughts right i think they would make sense for you okay especially if you are in this line of work or you're thinking of coming into this line of work fashion is a very broad is a very broad industry right there are so many different things in fashion that you can get into right fashion is not just a one-way street you can be a fashion stylist you're still in the fashion industry but you're just a stylist right you are styling other people you have good eye for outfits for how to coordinate accessories and stuff like that okay 
you can do that if you want to get into styling do it right there's nothing stopping you right and i know i'm i'm saying a lot at the same time so let me just jump into the ideas i wrote them down just so it comes to me right so the first thing i would say right if you're trying to start off in fashion as a designer is go to a fashion school i'm not one of those people i know there are people that have they'll come and say oh i'm a self-taught um fashion designer or tailor honestly like whatever you choose to call it right there are people that say they are self-taught but if you find out more often than not those people have a story right maybe someone in their family their sister was a tailor their mother was a tailor their auntie was a tailor and they kind of watched those people work they didn't just sit down at home watch youtube video buy a sewing machine and just became tailors right a lot i don't know i might be wrong but i've not met someone like that people that are usually self-taught in fashion always have a story right so subscribe to a fashion school right if it's something you are planning to take seriously find out make inquiries and i know some people say oh i don't have money for i don't have money and most of these fashion schools are expensive a very affordable fashion school out here in portacot is frida cameo style house people that have followed my journey right from the start you guys know that that's where i started off my fashion journey in 2019 i called <laughs> i called then when i was new i i think prior to me registering for that class in 2019 i had called frida frida is the person the creative director of frida cameo style house out here in potaco i had called her like twice the previous year right when i moved into potaco newly i'd called her and then of course i was just like a prospective student to her so i'll call and say how much is it how do you run it da, 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 da. and then i would grow cold feet or i'll just move on to something as at then i think i was more crazy okay for lack of a better word i was more crazy about being a makeup artist and i just thought fashion was something on the side because with my fashion designing journey i could have i could have grown more than i i i, I think i could have been ahead of the game than i am right now if i had followed my mom's advice because i remember growing up especially after university when i was still trying to get my first nine to five employment there was this tailor close to our house back then in ig shaga so and then she'd be like go to this lady's shop and just be learning how to sew with her and stuff like that i was like me hey mommy me that i went to school i'll go with the tailor lie lie da, 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 da. and i never listened to my mom right and then i eventually got my nine to five and i did that job for a couple of years and of course with the workload and all of that i couldn't i couldn't even juggle it right and when i moved to potacot again the idea kept coming back for me try tailoring try tailoring try tailoring i was like oh no i think i'll try i'll try to find a job i'll try to become a makeup artist da, 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 da. and i volunteered i remember there was a time that um anita browse came out here in potacot in 2000 and i think december of 2018 i volunteered there i was thinking oh i'll meet other makeup artists and maybe get my first makeup artist i think i'm turning this thing into a story time low-key but i want you guys to get a background of what i'm explaining right so i did that and then nothing right the makeup was just not giving because me i'm a very i think i'll say it i'm a very ambitious person i know i might not strike people as that but i can be very ambitious right i was like no i i everything i do right i like to grow it right and for the longest time i just felt like everything i was i was dipping my leg in different things and i wasn't zoning in and growing one particular thing so in 2019 something had happened and i was like oh my god i need something to distract me i can't do this anymore and i was almost finding myself slipping into this depression at that point so i was like you know what this free that i've been calling for months now let me call her for real for real ask the, ask for the price of the class and make my payments right I, I felt like because i had not committed to it i i wasn't taking it seriously so i called her i think it was may or june of 2019 i asked the questions how much it will cost the duration and all of that and i made the payments and then the next thing i did was i asked her oh where can i buy my sewing machine from and then she described somewhere i think in d line right and then i went there picked up my sewing machine and you guys that's how i started off my journey in sewing and it's been fantastic so far the beginning stages were rough like it was it was a lot right but at the end of the day i do not regret it i even sometimes talk about it with my husband like imagine if i didn't go to fashion school in 2019 what would i be doing right now like what would my life be like right because it's at the beginning like i said i didn't know where it was leading me to i just knew it was something i wanted to start and it has pivoted 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 and look at where we are now i'm on youtube right now and my youtube channel is like a space for people imagine if i wasn't on youtube sharing the things that i i know right now somebody else will probably be doing it and i'll be here just not living living out my purpose right because i feel like for this point at this point where i am right now in my life this is what god is 
telling me to do right and I'm fulfilling purpose. So this is for anybody out there as well. If you've been thinking of it, you have the time, you have the resources, please go for it. If you have a tailor close to your house that will probably not charge you, maybe all she wants you to do is just be like an assistant for her and you can just lower yourself, right? Or be meek. You know that fruit of the spirit, meekness, you are going to bring it out in you, okay? If you are like me back then in the Jewish Shagat saying, oh, I cannot be a tailor worker, da, 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 da. Just humble yourself, put your head down, learn. And trust me, guys, it's going to pay off at the end of the day. The next thing I'll tell you to probably try out is bidding. My YouTube channel is a place where you can start off your journey in bidding. So if you're not subscribed, now is a good time to subscribe to this channel. With bidding, I don't think you have to go to school of bidding except you want to and you think you need you know extra knowledge with the content that i share on here on my youtube channel and a lot of other content creators on here on youtube on tiktok on instagram you can start up your bidding journey right and with time maybe if you have if you grow your money and you think okay it's something i want to become like a professional in along the line you can decide to go to school of bidding so bidding is another thing is another side hustle in fashion that you can try your hands on you can go to after you've grown yourself to a specific level, okay, right from the start, I cannot tell you that, okay, you start getting clients for bidding their outfits and stuff. But by the time you grow your, just harness that skill as much as possible, you can start, you know, working with designers, bidding their actual kid dresses for them. Because bidding and embellishments and stuff like that, I don't see it going out of fashion anytime soon. It's been something that our grandmothers, our mothers were doing during that time and it's still even invoked till date, right? So I don't think bidding is something that will ever go out of date. Even bidding as... A form of jewelry right it's always going to be in vogue okay i'm not god but if you look at the trend of things it usually comes back into vogue so if it's something you're thinking of doing start off learn and i wish you all the best with that another thing i would advise you to try out in fashion as well is millinery okay millinery is just making hats and headgears okay you can read up on it there's so many tutorials on here on youtube on other you know different platforms where people share millinery tutorials i don't like to classify myself as a milliner because i don't make hats per se i just make ashoki fascinators okay so you know those hats where you know those hats that our mommy geos and pastors wife is really wear. those type of hats the people that make them are the people that i feel like they can call themselves millinaires i might be wrong i know all those like hatinators and stuff like that those are people that are like proper proper millinaires i think for me i'm just like honestly you guys should give me what do you think i am am i a millina am i a fashion designer am i a bidder <laughs> let me know down in the comments okay so if that's something you are passionate about if you like headwears you like hats and you like the idea of designing them and making them for people to wear it's something you should you should totally try out okay another thing i would suggest okay if you're trying to get into the fashion industry is the sale of fabric and sewing accessories yes if you want to be a proper proper businesswoman it's something that i see myself doing maybe in the in the future right not right now i mean i love every time i go to fabric stores out here in portacos like it's always like i'm in my happy place right i'm always so excited like oh my god see this texture see this fabric what's the name and i like to ask questions like my vendors know me like i ask questions what is the name of this one if i want to buy it somewhere what do they call it da, 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 da. i like those things so i think it's something you should try out especially if you're very enterprising and you're the kind of person that does well with customers like having face-to-face -face customers right it's something you should totally try out also another thing you can try out in this fashion line of work is there's a name they call it right with adjusting outfits okay so a dress is too loose for example someone brings their cloth and they're like oh this i've forgotten what they call it is it amendment or resizing honestly i don't know the name if i remember the name i'm going to leave it on the screen right so you could try that you are and with everything right if you do it a lot and you are professional at it and you're good at it you will have your target audience okay a lot of times when why the reason why people are scared is like ah, how many people are not do you know how many people are looking for who adjust their clothes for them? Me, personally, I'm going to use myself as an example. I got some jeans re recently, and I, I, I fumbled with the sizing, right? And I kept thinking and thinking, oh, my God, I could try to mess around with it and adjust it myself. But because I am not a professional in that line of fashion, right, with resizing jeans in particular, do you guys know that there's a different methodology to resizing jeans? If you don't know, go and, go and do your research, okay? Not just anybody can resize a pair of jeans, right? So if it's something that you know, maybe someone that does amendments of clothes, you can intern with that person, right? Go to them, 
tell them, oh, you want to get into this line of work, put your head down one year, six months, however, whatever your schedule is like, and hone that skill and harness that skill very well. Trust me, with the help of God, it's going to grow, right? You would always, like, people will always have reasons to adjust clothes, okay? It's not something that you'll be like, oh, nobody, like, trust me. I know people here will say, ah, when I'm not an Obioma, but we are not talking about that. If you see yourself as an Obioma, that's, honestly, I don't even want to digress because a lot of people have a way of just bastardizing things and saying stuff like that. But I know someone in particular, um, I don't know if you guys watch Alia's face on YouTube. There's this Madam Joyce that she talks about a lot. And I went to her page just for the fun of it, just went to her page to kind of see. I'm pretty sure that she's making good money from that work of just doing adjustments of outfits, right? So as long as you can package yourself nicely trust me people will take you seriously don't don't look down on yourself okay and start anyway i think i'm going to do a separate video on mindset when it comes to business okay so that's another side hustle i'm going to end it right there i move to the next one another thing i would say is volunteering and interning a lot of these fashion houses they usually need extra hands okay and with interning i know i know sometimes they will put it up like oh um, da, 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 fashion house is looking for interns and ask people to apply but if as long as you do it the right way right okay i i think with a lot of these things as well emotional intelligence is very important if someone is getting the vibe of this person just wants to come and learn and run away they will probably not take you seriously right but if you make the person understand where your passion is coming from what you plan to do and you also take the person's business like your business right you you promise to intern and serve the person and you come through right as promised trust me it's going to pay off at the end of the day even if you don't end up becoming like a fashion designer the lessons the experience you gain from working with a professional someone that has been in that industry for a long time is it's priceless, right? You cannot you cannot put a price on it, okay? So if it's interning and volunteering in a fashion house or in a millionaire's shop or in a um, fittings house, like fashion house, if it's something you are thinking of doing or if you, if you think it's something you could do, do your research and start it off. Another side hustle is having a YouTube channel, guys. Like, I cannot, I cannot not suggest that to you right and with youtube it's a it's a patience kind of game right i'm not assuring you that the moment you start off your youtube channel you're going to hit 1000 why is my nose itchy you're going to hit 1000 subscribers and get your 4000 watcher da, da 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 but trust me if you can keep at it if you can keep at it and work hard guys it will pay off all right guys so i had to change my battery pack what i was saying is that i'm not assuring you that youtube is going to pay off right from the start but just like any endeavor right consistency dedication hard work there's no way like it has to pay off okay so start it off okay if you have all these skills if you've gathered a lot of experience from any any line of work okay for, I know for this video, I'm talking about fashion and all of that, but for any type of work, if you are a professional accountant, if you've been an accountant for 20 years, trust me, there are people that are trying to learn about accounting and finance. Start a YouTube channel about it and produce quality content, okay? Quality content on YouTube will definitely pay off. I know a lot of times I talk about my YouTube journey, how I started and I had just two subscribers, da, 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 da. But even me, sometimes when I go back to watch those videos, I'm like, for me, what were you doing in that video? What were you talking about, right? So, and I know at the beginning, that's why it's just best to start, right? When you start off, you learn, okay? Like, I remember, let me share a quick story. I know this video, you guys, whatever length this video is, I'm sorry, okay? I'm a chatty person when I'm comfortable around the people I'm talking to, right? So, I'm just going to talk. Anyway, so, when I started my YouTube channel and I posted my... When I posted my first video, like I always say, it was my husband that was my first subscriber on here, on the channel, and then... I think in May when I did my whole announcement on Instagram with my old Instagram account, I shared with my sisters, right? And I remember one of my sisters, she was like, oh, she wanted to watch it on her TV. And then she was like, Fumbi, what? Why is the sound of the intro song so loud? I was like, oh my God, I did not know. So apparently there, there's something about managing the volume of 
audio on YouTube videos. I did not know that. But if I had not posted that first video where my audio was trash, I wouldn't have learned that, oh, for me, you need to look into audio when it comes to your videos, right? And I remember after that, I paid for a whole tutorial on Udemy on how to edit videos. Like you guys, yes, I went to school of video editing. I know with my videos, they seem a bit simple because that's just I'm just a simple person. But if I want my videos to be very dramatic and cinematic and all of that, I could do that. But for what? People are coming to learn how to sew they don't need me doing gang -gang -gang with my videos right so i paid for that course learned about how to adjust my audio in my editing app how to color grade my video and stuff like that i learned about saturation before before my youtube channel i didn't know anything about saturation video editing and stuff like that so start it off at the beginning it might be rocky but trust me you will get your balance okay you will get your balance and yeah i think that's pretty much all the suggestions i have for people that are trying to start off their journey in millinery like i said if you're trying to become a tailor or fashion designer whatever you choose to call yourself go to his fashion school if you have if you've gained like previous experience and you have so much knowledge share with us open your youtube channel okay open your youtube channel and start teaching us how to improve on our sewing skills right don't just keep all that talent to yourself and i know some people say oh my god i'm shy da, da, da. there are people on this platform on youtube that have youtube channel that we've never seen their face for one day and their channels are doing fantastic okay so if you are shy no pressure take your time start the youtube channel just show us what you are doing we know if you don't want to show us your face we don't need to see your face just show us what you're doing and bring us on your journey okay and yeah welcome again to 2023 thank you guys so much for all the love we hit 17,000 today guys amazing amazing thank you thank you guys and welcome to the new people welcome 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 i hope you guys find the answers that you're seeking after subscribing to this channel if it's entertainment you're looking for if it's knowledge whatever it is that you seek for that made you hit on subscribe i hope you find it on here on my channel my name is maybe ola Wore, and i'm based in portacot okay because i get questions from people saying where are you located i'm based in portacot all right and i'm not offering any course i get that question a lot as well i'm going to answer i'm not offering any course or training program at the moment like people that are subscribed on this channel know i work from my house and bringing strangers to my house to teach them how to make headband mm, i don't think it's a good idea so when i get a proper space or when i find a way to just design a proper online course i'll let you guys know and hopefully you guys subscribe to it or register for it i honestly pray that this year brings us answers brings us results okay we pray for fantastic results by the grace of God. And I pray for strength as well because all these things that we are talking about require strength. If you are sick, if you are tired, you won't have the ginger to do any of all these things that we talked about in this video. So I pray that God grants us all strength, okay? Things that we are not planning, eventualities that we are not thinking of would not tamper or affect all that God has called us to do in this year, 2023 and beyond in Jesus mighty name. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up. The next tutorial is something beautiful. Okay. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It should go up right after this video or before this video. Honestly, I don't know, but whenever you guys see it, please watch, like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. And I can't wait to see you in another video. Bye-bye.